Hey guys, welcome. Yeah, so in this video, we're gonna talk about the properties of the Legendre symbol and we're gonna prove them. Uh, one of the properties is displayed right here and it's frequently useful. Uh, soon enough, uh, we're gonna look at uh, examples on how to calculate A over P for a large A and a large P. I'm gonna make three videos um, with examples of how to calculate A over P for a large A and a large P. The first video, we'll be looking at this example here. Uh, recall that P here has to be an odd prime, which 1009 is, right? And uh, to get started on this, uh, which by the way, helps us figure out whether or not 713 is a quadratic residue mod 1009, what we can do is enlist the help of this property right here. And uh, first factor 713 is 23 times 31, but then we'll be able to write that this here is the same as this by using this property. But <laughs> once we get here, we're stuck. And none of uh, the other properties, there are five properties I'll show in total, and none of the four other properties are gonna help us make progress on this. So what's gonna help us make progress? Well, uh, it looks like to uh, finish this problem, what we need is what's called the law of quadratic reciprocity. And while I, as I said, I'll uh, make three example videos on calculating A over P for a large A and a large P, uh, my next two videos will concern the law of quadratic reciprocity. I'm gonna talk about it in two parts. So look out for those videos, those two videos on the law of quadratic reciprocity. But yeah, this video is about the properties, so let's display them. The first one is pretty obvious, which says that if A is congruent to uh, B mod P, then A over P is equal to B over P, and this requires no proof. Um, part B, um, or the second property I show, will say that A over P is equal to um, a to the power of p minus one over two mod p, and this is Euler's criterion. So this is very familiar to us because I already made three videos on it. And the first video on Euler's criterion, I introduced it and looked at some very basic examples. And the second video, we looked at harder examples. And in the third video on Euler's criterion, we proved it. Um, so we're not gonna prove um, the second property, which is Euler's criterion, because we already proved it. Um, and then the next property uh, is pretty obvious in the first part. And the first part here, uh, notice that all you have to do is replace this A here with a one, and then you'll have one to the power of P minus one over two, which is still one. So we're done with this part of uh, property C. Uh, but this part, which generalizes it um, for any N, when N is a square, um, this part will be redundant to property E that I'll show to come. And so I'll prove this part uh, after I display property E, yeah? Okay, cool. The next property, um, unsurprisingly, will be the old important property that I've displayed up here. Uh, and I'll prove this in a second. Uh, but yeah, this is true. And property E, as I said, is redundant to what I've stated in the second part of property C, uh, which is that A squared over P is one, yeah? Okay, so that's the same as saying N over P is equal to one for any square N, right? So suppose that n is a square, so n is equal to x squared for some integer x, right? Um, all right, so then, um, so then uh, we'll, have, we'll have, by part b, we'll have um, that um, x squared over um, p is equal to um, x squared to the power of p minus one over two. But wait, this here is just x to the power of p minus one, which we know by Fermat's theorem, Fermat's little theorem, has to be congruent to one mod p. So you see why if n is a square, we have to have n over p be equal to one, yeah? Okay, cool, cool, cool. So that's the proof of um, property E and therefore the proof of the second part of C. And so all we have left to do is prove this. To prove uh, part D, uh, we start with the fact that um, a times B over uh, P by property B will have to uh, equal um, AB to the power uh, P minus one over two. Uh, but uh, this here is the same as writing A to the power, um, it's the same as writing A to the power uh, P minus one over two times uh, B to the power P minus one over two. But we know that uh, a over p is um, equal to uh, a to the power p minus one over two, and we know that b over p uh, is equal to um, 
b to the power p minus 1 over 2. And therefore, we can replace this with a over p, and we can replace this with b over p, and therefore, as desired, we have property d. Yeah? Okay, cool. All right. I hope you enjoyed this video. And like I said, uh, in my next two videos I'll make, look out for the law of quadratic reciprocity, part one and part two. And then after, um, I'll start with this example and give you two additional examples on how to calculate A over P when A is big and P is big. Yeah? All right, cool. Take care. Keep watching.